Hi, welcome to the Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. Last week, the ADP Research Institute provided insight into the labor market, showing really strong gains in private sector hiring. Now, those gains were not across the board. In fact, our contention all year long has been that the labor market is incredibly strong, but incredibly fragmented. Where we're seeing those gains is in people-to-people -people jobs, those consumer-facing jobs. And that's because consumers are changed. They are spending more on services and travel. So let's talk about the service industry, why it's so important, both in the economy and the labor market. Here are three things that you should be aware of. The first is what is service sector? Well, it's best to explain the service sector by what it isn't. So if goods or anything that you can actually touch that are produced by a business, services are things you can't touch. Think healthcare, think travel, think staying at a, a hotel and hotel services. So those industries are really wide. It, it encompasses every occupation from barber to software developer, right? So it's a big amorphous industry, but it's also 80% of the economy. The second thing you should be aware of is hiring. Yes, hiring has been strong in consumer facing being industries. And we saw that in last week's ADP uh, release. The biggest gainers were in the service sector, including leisure and hospitality. We saw a lot of hiring in retail, a lot of hiring in transportation, and then education and health services. And those jobs basically underscore what the consumer are spending their money on right now, away from goods, and we did see a decline in manufacturing jobs towards these service sectors, but not all services. In fact, it was just the consumer-facing services that saw gains. We actually saw job losses and weakness in things like professional business services, like accountants and lawyers, or the finance sector, and even in information technology. So all the gains is starting and ending with the consumer. The final thing that is really important about the service sector is what the Federal Reserve is really cautious about right now, which is wages. You see, I like to think of wages as the bridge between the jobs market and the consumer price inflation numbers that we'll get this week. And if wages are accelerating a lot, especially in the service sector, that could mean a reboost in inflation. Nobody wants to see that. Well, ADP reported some good news on this front. We actually saw that the pace of wage growth is starting to decline significantly. That means that despite this big number of jobs created in consumer-facing services, we didn't see a big pickup in wage growth. That's also highlighted by there's more people to hire, and it's just easier for companies to add headcount right now. So overall, we really saw that June has ended in terms of the labor market on a really strong note, and it's been driven by the service sector. Thanks for watching the Main Street Macro. For more information on that very important uh, collection of jobs data that re was released last week, please go to adpri.org.